YouTube, this is Jen, your Pudgy Picker, only seeing me from the neck down today. Wanted to show you this video. I went by the Asian Plaza store. There's actually several uh, stores, grocery stores, um, restaurants, and different kinds of uh, things in the Asian Plaza in downtown Cleveland. Um, I had to drop my daughter off at college this morning, so I ran by and picked up some Lucky Bamboo. I've been showing you, if you watched my uh, video where I showed you my organization downstairs, that's where I'm at now. So I wanted to show you what I bought and show you how I am going to put these items together. Let me put this on the floor. Okay, here's what I purchased. Came to, I think, a little over $14. And I got Lucky Bamboo in different sizes. Uh, they sell it according to how long it is. <sighs> so a handful of these were 69 cents. Um, the longest one I got was this one. This one was $1.19. And, hmm, I don't know if I have a... Let me see, I got a yardstick here. Let me measure it for you. <clears throat> Let's see, this one is six inches long. So this one is six inches long, and it was $1.19. Uh, a handful of these, I believe, were 89 and then... These little teeny short ones, which are four inches, were 69 cents each. That's just counting from here to here. It does not uh, include the leaves. <clears throat> what you want to look for when you buy these is you want to get them nice and where they got like this two-tone green. The leaves on top should look healthy, uh, shiny, um, and they should hopefully have uh, some roots on the bottom. Um, some of these got a little amount of roots, um, but see where the roots start? See all these little dots at the end? So that's essentially what you want to look for. Uh, you don't want to get ones where they're mostly this yellow color because that means they're dying. <laughs> Ask me, I know. So that is what I got. Let me pick up my phone and show you. So here's what I got. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So they're essentially, with all of them, about a dollar a piece. So let me uh, pull out one of my containers. <clears throat> this is a smaller one. Isn't that adorable? Um, this one is, you know... Pretty clean. Oops, I still got the price on there. You know, that's something I've occasionally done when I've taken items out to my booth. And sometimes they sit for a while and you're like, why isn't this selling? And then you look and there's the thrift price on the bottom and you're like, oh, that's so stupid. But, you know, we all occasionally do that. Okay, took the price tag off. That was $1.99 and probably half price. Now this one, you know, you kind of want to go on the depth. So this one, oops, I'm not all fancied up today, so you're just going to have to excuse the no makeup. So this one is a six inch one, and when you put a little rocks in there, it's going to be a little taller. So what you're going to do, and these are the kind of rocks I use. They're just the regular polished rocks, uh, as long as they're clean. Um, people use them for decoration. You can also use like the different color marbles. <clears throat> These things could sit just in plain purified water. They don't even need rocks. I put rocks in here because it helps them stand upright. <laughs> so let's put some rocks in there. Okay. Now you can just do one or you can do two. And it's cute if they're kind of you know, different heights, they look nice. So you got two here. Oops, got an extra root there. Yeah, I want a little more rocks. Okay, so you kind of want to place them where you want them. And then just kind of fill in. 
Yep, I use these rocks. You can use, like I said, the marbles. They have the flat ones, the round ones. As long as they're clean, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, when, when you buy these in the store, they're usually just sitting in buckets of water. So it's nothing, you know, fancy. I will explain that when you do keep these, or if you buy them somewhere down the line, you are going to want... <clears throat> to use bottled or purified water. Um, you do not use top tap water with these because um, you can use it for a couple of weeks and you don't see anything happening, but they start to turn yellow and they get dried out and they die. So uh, regular water out of the tap will kill these. Okay, so I pretty much got that the way I want it. Stick a few smaller rocks down in there. I'll pick up the camera and show you when I get where I want to be here. Um, yeah. uh, let's see. But I thought this was an, a, an adorable, you know, little container. Okay, so once you get it where you want it, and, you know, they're secure and they're not, you know, wiggling around in there. And that's all you got to do. I know it's, you know, it's nothing fancy, nothing incredibly spectacular as far as skill is concerned. But let me pick it up and show you. So that's what you got. Isn't that cute? And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill this up so you can see the water in there. So... Just keep the, you know, the roots covered. Usually with mine, I just do uh, put water in there or check the water level once every week. Maybe you can even go two weeks. Uh, it depends on how big your container is. Um, just as long as you got water uh, covering the roots, you're good. So uh, let me do a few more, and then I will uh, do another video and show you all of them done together. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got some done. I still have two more containers to go. I have the owl one. This orange one was actually an edible arrangements container. This one is perfect for the bamboo. See, it's got a little frog on there. And this one also. You'll remember all these are thrift store finds. Uh, you could even probably get a container at the dollar store if you wanted to go super cheap. This is one I just found the other day with one in each, and that's the first one I did. So I have this little turtle I'm probably going to do, and I have this blue and white one. I have another elephant, and this one's really cute, but I'm going to have to do something to plug the hole because <laughs> uh, you need standing water. So, yeah, so I'm going to do this one. This is funny. This is one that actually came with rocks that I just poured in another container. These size are nice uh, to kind of filler in, especially like this it has a small opening on it. I'll probably put a couple more in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put some water in these. Now these are not going to go out until my until tomorrow to my booth, and my cat likes to eat these. So what I'm probably going to do is put them right here on my bench and I'm gonna put a uh, a basket or a bin over it and put something weighted on it because I don't want him messing with these and or if I even put them in like a plastic box over there with a lid uh, they'll be good overnight I just don't want him eating the leaves a <laughs> so, little stinker now as far as pricing is concerned you will consider I probably spent a dollar to a dollar fifty on uh, each of the containers, and then I would say a dollar each for these, and then I spent maybe let's see one two three four five six maybe I would say close to a dollar on the rocks. So pretty much you have one, two, three, four, fifty. So you want to consider how much you're putting into the items. Uh, Time-wise is not a big deal. What I would do is, and probably depending on the container, 
I'm going to sell these probably $12, 12 yeah, $12. Um, I, they'll definitely sell at that price. I believe before I sold them for 10 at my other booth and they did really well. I just have to remember each week to bring um, the uh, a bottle of purified water. I usually keep a couple in my car uh, to keep them hydrated. So that's all I got. Uh, so far, I'm going to do two more, and then I will show you when I have them all done. And then I'll go ahead and fill them up with water. Now, you want to keep in mind, these really get heavy because it's a heavy container, and you have lots of rocks, and then you add water. So, you know, these containers usually won't tip over anything. This especially won't because of the bottom. Um, you don't want to get a container too small because you will have to keep watering it like every day. So that's something else to keep in mind. Plus, if it has a small container, it uh, might tip over and that would make a mess with water and, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, these are probably the smallest containers I have, so I'll have to make sure I keep an eye on those. But uh, just keep in mind, you got to keep these filled up with water. Don't have a container too small. Uh, have them deep enough where they're not going to wiggle around. These are in here pretty good. Those are a little bit. I'm hoping with water that'll do. Yeah, but these are in here pretty secure. They're not going to be, you know, falling over or falling out. Um, because you want to make sure those roots are saturated and continuously in water. So let me uh, do these last two and then I'll show them to you next. Hang on. Okay, I got the last one, last two actually. I did this little elephant and the turtle. It's funny, this one uh, already had these small rocks in it and then it was taped over the top. So when I emptied out the rocks, there were some dried roots in there. So I could tell that it originally had bamboo in it. So, yeah. So I have, what, two, four, six, eight of these containers. I'm going to probably put $12 on each of them. So not too bad. So I'm glad you came along for this video. I've been telling you about it for a while. I still have two containers and a little bit of rocks so whenever i happen to be in the thrift store i always kind of look around for these type of containers and then when some of these sell i will go ahead and repurchase get some more rocks got the rocks from the dollar store so not too bad so i hope you enjoyed this video look around i'm sure there's an asian plaza in a city near you and you can get cheap bamboo there because a lot of these containers do cost, um, I mean, if you were to buy this in the store, it would probably be $12, $14. Uh, they are a little cheaper there, but they also have the curly bamboo. They're more expensive, of course, but you could get a much taller container and put that in there as well. So, you know what? It's whatever your taste is for the container and the style of the bamboo. But this is just a basic. You want to get fancy, it'll... It'll be nice for yourself, but of course you'll have to charge more money if you're going to sell it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Happy picking. Bye.